Hi, John O'Donnell here. I'm running in the local elections on June 7th. Uh, I'm looking for your support. I'm an independent councillor elected uh, two consecutive times to Donegal County Council, serving the Mulford elected area. I'm asking for your number one vote based on my performance and delivery over the last 10 years. For example, I've delivered 4 million directly to community projects over the last 10 years, and I've also indirectly delivered somewhere in the region of 1 million through my sports capital funds and also through DLDC and leader funding. I think it's important to keep local representation in your area that has a proven track record and is able to be shown a performance of delivery. So for this election, I'm just showing the people some snapshots of the work that I've done and projects I've delivered in your area. For example, in Kilmacrenan, I've delivered the new sports development there, which is the playground, the astral pitch and the full-size soccer pitch. On the back of that, we hope to deliver a new state-of-the-art sports hall and clubhouse and changing facilities. Another example is in Downings, I've delivered a new pontoon to the value of €200,000. We've also secured funding for a new footpath and greenway from Carrigarg to Downings, which I've lobbied for down through a long number of years. Also, we've secured £1.2 million for a state-of-the-art change in facilities and water sport facilities in Downings. Also then, we head to Remelton, we've secured the Town and Village Renewal Regeneration Fund as well, which is a massive project about to be taken in Remelton. It's on hand and it's in the early stages of development. Then we move to Mulford, we've also secured Town and Village new refunding money as well to revamp Mulford, which is a master plan that I also look forward to working on. On down into Carrigart and Cranford then, we have the new state-of-the-art extension going on. There's €300,000 secured from public funding there in Cranford and it's an exciting project also. We move back then to Terman and there's a new state-of-the-art clubhouse being built in Terman, which I've been a proud supporter of and have also contributed myself personally to Terman GA to make sure that this project would happen. Furthermore, uh, I think it's important that we have somebody who has supported not only clubs and groups from a political level, but also from a personal level through my businesses. I've funded a lot of sporting organisations down through the years. And as you can see on the snapshot below, a list of all the community groups and organisations that I've supported over the last 10 years. For myself, if I'm lucky enough to be re-elected to represent you for another five years after June 7th, I look forward to the continuation of the work on the projects that I've stated out below that are at early stages and are at advanced stages. And also I think it's very important to keep working with local communities and also rolling out the LIS scheme, which is the local improvement scheme for people in the farming background, which is a very, very vital scheme that has worked well down through the years. And I think we need to get more funding into that to make sure that the delivery of all the roads that are on the applications that are in at the minute are delivered. If re-elected to represent you for another five years, I'd like to see the completion of the new visitor centre in Fanad and also the completion of the works at the Port Salon Pier and Rathmullen Refurbish works at the pier. I'd like to work closely with the people on the ground because I think it's important all politics is local and you need to stay local and work with the people that you're representing. I'm asking you to give me your number one vote. Vote John O'Donnell number one on June 7th. I'm always determined to deliver.